Hello, Dr. Jeff Masters with you to ask the question, can a colossal extreme weather event galvanize action on the climate crisis? On a sweltering June day in 1988, climate scientist Dr. James Hansen testified before Congress that human-caused global warming had arrived. Altogether, this evidence represents a very strong case, in my opinion, that the greenhouse effect has been detected and it is changing our climate now. Since the summer of 1988, there have been many extreme weather and climate events, each consistent with human-caused warming, that in another world would have triggered the U.S. to make the transformational change needed to address the climate crisis. I present here 12 examples. Starting with the summer of 1988, going on to the first global coral bleaching event in 1998, to be followed by three more, most recently in 2024, thanks to record warm ocean temperatures across much of the globe. In 2003, we had the deadliest heat wave in human history, over 70,000 people killed in Europe. In 2005, we had Category 5 Hurricane Katrina form, which then slammed into New Orleans, killing over 1,200 people. In 2012, the Arctic lost more than half of its sea ice. 2012, we also had Superstorm Sandy, the largest hurricane ever recorded and caused over $88 billion in damage, much of it to New York and New Jersey. In 2017, it was Houston's turn to suffer a record hurricane. Hurricane Harvey brought the biggest deluge ever suffered by a major U.S. city and cost over $150 billion in damage. In 2018, record wildfires swept through California, and the town of Paradise, California was annihilated, killing over 85 people, the worst wildfire in over 100 years. In recent decades, the ocean has steadily acidified, a phenomena that threatens the basis of the very food chain for all life on Earth. We've seen record loss of ice from Greenland and Antarctica in recent decades, and that has caused an acceleration of sea level rise. An ocean current system in the Atlantic has shown signs of faltering and could collapse completely in 25 years. That's been given a 59% chance of happening in a recent paper. Should that current collapse, it will lead to extreme weather across much of the Northern Hemisphere, including droughts that will greatly threaten our ability to grow food for the world's population. And just this year, we had Hurricane Beryl, the earliest ever Cat 5 recorded in the Atlantic. And on and on. There have been so many extreme weather events in the past few decades that should have triggered climate action should have caused a Sauron WTF moment when the executives of the Voss fuel industry and the politicians they helped put in power realized that Frodo was standing at the rim of Mount Climate Doom with the One Ring and their empire hung by a precarious thread. But none of these wake-up calls have changed the behavior of these power brokers who continue to fight tooth and nail against any diminution of their power and profits. Saving the planet is just not sufficiently profitable. They preach that the magic of the marketplace will solve the climate crisis, but it cannot. As long as the fossil fuel industry can externalize their costs by dumping their waste gases in the atmosphere, thereby heating the planet, it's going to continue. As Upton Sinclair said, it is difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends on him not understanding it. In order to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2050, over $30 trillion of fossil fuels need to stay in the ground. Those stranded assets are a lot of motivation to keep the status quo intact. Motivation which goes in the form of money that flows into the pockets of politicians who profit from huge donations from the fossil fuel industry. So to answer the question posed at the beginning, no, I don't think that any future extreme weather event or breakdown of the climate system will galvanize transformative climate action in the U.S. 
But the weather is going to continue to get more extreme until we reach net zero emissions and we stop putting heat trapping gases in the atmosphere. Within 10 years, long term global warming is expected to surpass what is widely regarded as the dangerous threshold, 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre industrial temperatures. I think of this threshold as akin to a Category 1 hurricane for humanity. Highly damaging, but not devastating. We're expected to reach 2 degrees Celsius of warming above pre-industrial in about 25 years. In my estimation, that will be akin to a major Category 3 hurricane for humanity. Devastating, but not catastrophic. Some very bad outcomes are likely to be in store for us at that level of warming. And it is vital that we limit warming below 2.5 degrees Celsius or we risk category four level damage to civilization, approaching the catastrophic level.